everyone, it's me Barb and I'm here with a requested video for going over useful information in the collection tab for Disney Dreamlight Valley. Now some of this you may already know, some you might, but if you find any of it useful, please do like and subscribe if uh, you would like to do so. If you turn on notifications, it'll even tell you when I go live for live streams. So. If you are in game, if you would like to follow along, go ahead and pull up your main menu. Um, whether you are on your Switch, Xbox, PS5, your computer. Um, on my computer, I press the escape button, it pulls it up for me, and then I'm going to go over and select the collection tab here. On my Switch, I would press the plus button to bring up my menu, and then I would select the collection tab. So we're going to start with the memories tab. Now, I'm not sure if you all are aware or not, but there are different types of memories that you can get from different activities. This first section of memories, it says Dreamlight Valley 12 of 14. These are from progress, uh, progressing the quest and storyline. So you can see here, this is a memory we got from quest and storyline. And the way you can tell what it's from is if you come over and hover over one you don't have, it says unlock by progressing. So we know we have to progress to unlock this. Now currently I am progressed through all of the content of the game and I'm waiting for Scar to come out, which we get soon, so that's exciting. So when he comes out, I'm hoping maybe we'll get this or maybe another one of the memories in here. And the next section is Old Ruler's Lost Diaries. These you'll find as you are progressing the storyline as well. And you'll see here when we hover, it does say unlock by progressing. Now, as you go further down, it does get a bit more interesting. So let's look at Wally's section, for example. You can see here, it says, find exclusive memory pieces when gardening. So you get these little ones when gardening only. You cannot get these any other way. If you go over to this one, it says, find exclusive memory pieces when digging. So it makes sense. <laughs> We're on a pattern here. You gotta dig to get these memories. These ones down here, we get from cooking. It says we'll get this from uh, memory pieces from doing night thorns and this one from fishing. So let's go down and look at uh, Ratatouille. We can see here this section of memories is find exclusive memory pieces when feeding critters. Now there's only so many critters you can feed a day and it only has a chance of giving you a memory, right? So this one might take you a bit longer to fill out. I highly recommend feeding all the critters you can feed every day, even if you've already befriended them, because we can fill out our collection for these memories and unlock these pictures. If you come over here to the right, we can see this one says find exclusive memory pieces when watering flowers. This is when fishing, cooking, uh, gardening, all types of tasks that you can do to unlock these memories. And you can see they are sorted by their associated movie. So Monsters, Inc. Tangled, Frozen, The Little Mermaid. Um, like here we need memory pieces when fishing, removing small night thorns, gardening, digging, and cooking. So if there's ones you don't tend to really get, you can kind of see, oh, I haven't got any for Frozen from fishing. Maybe I should go fishing. So I definitely like this particular tab because you can see kind of how you're progressing. And when they do complete, it will finish out that image for you and take away the lines, which is super cool. So let's move on to the collection tab for characters. In characters, you will see your characters listed by their movie. And it will state, like here for Merlin, he's from Stor Sword in the Stone. He is one of one. That's because he's the only character we currently have in-game from Sword in the Stone. And you can see in his main picture here, he is level 10. And if we hover over this, it's going to show that um, you can see in the bottom here, I chose him as a foraging buddy. And the hangout bonus he gets for being my foraging buddy is that he can find more items from harvesting wild crops and fruits. And it'll also show you his favorite things of the day. Like today, he would like some candy, a dream shard, and blue falling penstemon flowers. Now, with those favorite things of the day, uh, you can only give him one of each for the day and get the bonus. Uh, you can keep giving them to him, but it's not going to give you the extra bonus friendship. Now, in the bottom right, you can see I can select for more details. 
And that control option will be different depending on if you're console or PC. But I'm going to go ahead and click that. And let's say I wanted to check and see. I couldn't remember where I got this cool wizard hat, right? So I go in here and I, I thought maybe it was a reward from leveling one of my buddies. And I can see that I got that from leveling Merlin to 10. And that little uh, quest symbol next to it means I also had to complete his level 10 quest. Once I did both those things, I got the hat. And you can go and see the same for Wally. He is my digging buddy. I get extra items when digging with him. And his favorite things of the day are sugar cane, shiny emeralds, and pink bromelides. And we can select for more details. And we can see that we got that cool yellow bike from Wally at level 5. And these are going to, again, be sorted by their movie. Like you can see, we have two characters from Moana, three from Little Mermaid, and so on. Let's move on to our collection tab for crafting. In crafting, it's going to have a section for your different um, materials and crafted items. So the first section we have is refined materials. And here you can see uh, we do have materials that we had to make from other items. So basically, think of refined as crafted, right? Now, cover your ears if you don't want a spoiler. And wait like five seconds to uncover them. Uh, brick, fiber, fabric, glass, you can get these all at Kristoff's stall. Okay, so now that we're past this, the spoiler part for you, if you go and you hover over these, you can see also how to craft these. Uh, fiber you craft with seaweed. Sells for six star coins. Glass requires five sand and one coal. Sells for 50 star coins. Gold ingots takes five gold ore and one uh, coal. Lordy. <laughs> Long day. Sorry, guys. I swear I remember my, I remember my words. Uh, tinkering parts you can craft with two iron ingots. Uh, cover your ears for five seconds if you don't want a spoiler. You can also go to Wally's Realm and get these by gathering occasionally. So check there. Uh, so past the spoiler part, you can see here enchantments, purified night shards, the recipe to craft them sells for 70 star coins. It then gives us a section on paving and fences. So if you like that cool dark wood fence, you want to know how to make it. Oh, look, it takes five dark wood. You want to know how to make the golden opal road. You can see here we need a gold ingot and some stone. Golden brick road, gold. Uh, that really cool iron spike and brick fence road. You're going to need to gather a lot of iron. Sorry, it takes two iron ingots and three brick. Now let's go on to our functional items section. You can see that you can craft your stoves, your crafting station. You can see the recipe, uh, black flat top stove. Useful information here if you decide you want to craft them and you just quickly need to know what it's going to take and you're not at a crafting table to pull up the recipe. If you go down to furniture, you can see our craftable furniture items and what it takes to craft them. So let's say you want to make this DJ booth. You're going to need six of each of those three gems in the bottom and 100 iron ingots. So get to mining. <laughs> and uh, you can go through and basically anything you can craft is listed in here and it'll show you the recipe. And this is especially useful if you want to set a goal for yourself. Like let's say I really want to make this yellow, red, and black balloon arch because I haven't made it yet. I know I need to get 20 of each of these flowers down here and 10 iron ingots. So let's move on to our critter section, which is one of my favorite sections in the collection tab. And what's super useful about this is when you're collecting critters, you don't have to always go into your companion section, your wardrobe, and see who you have, um, especially since companion section and wardrobe's not sorted by um, type. It's sorted by order in which you have collected them, right? So here you can see if they are not highlighted, they are not brightly colored, so like they're grayed out. This orchid sunbird, I don't have the orchid sunbird tamed. If we look here in the bottom, I can see he's in the sunlit plateau, and today he's set to be here between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. So since I don't have him tamed, I really should go feed that orchid sunbird, and if I can get him to be my friend today, I'll have all the, the sunbirds, right? We can see here where to find squirrels, and if uh, each individual one's here today, red squirrel's here today, white squirrel is not. Uh, where we can find crocodiles and which ones are here today. Uh, like the white crocodile, I would like for it to be here today, but it's not. 
Ravens are not in game yet, but hopefully they will be soon in upcoming updates. We can see the brown rabbit's not here today, but I do need to feed it. Uh, the calico rabbit's really cool. Black sea turtle, already got him luckily. Red fox, not here today, but if he was, he'd be in the frosted heights. And so on. You can check each individual one. And once you have them brightly colored like this, that means they are in your companions tab in your wardrobe. And you can go select them so they can hang out with you while you're questing. So one of my favorite tabs because... Honestly, coming in here, looking at this just makes me happy because you can see who all you've befriended. So let's move on to our fish tab. In the fish tab, it will be the same. It's either going to be highlighted in bright color or grayed out if you don't have it. As you can see, I have not caught a fugu fish yet. So my bad. Um, I was just having more fun decorating. But I have caught these other fish. Now, if I wanted to catch a fugu fish, it's going to tell me I need to go to Dazzle Beach to find it. it. Sells for 900 star coins. And if you did want to eat it straight, which seems kind of disgusting, it would give you 1700 energy. Now, it does not specify additional information beyond where to find it. If you have a fugu fish, you probably know you need to go to the beach when it is raining and fish in the gold circles. So... It does have your basic information, but it's not going to go beyond that because there's only so much they can fit in that section down there. Uh, you can see if you need a herring, you can get it in Dazzle Beach or the Glade of Trust, what it sells for, energy, and so on. Let's move on to our foraging tab. In the foraging tab, basically it's going to be all of your forage materials, and it's going to tell you where you can get them. So, pebbles. We can get these in Dazzle Beach, Forest of Valor, Sunlit Plateau, and the Forgotten Lands, and they sell for 10 star coins. And it's going to give you the same information for all of these, but if it is a crop in your foraging section, cotton counts as a crop, right? You can plant it, it grows in 25 minutes, and it'll tell you the quantity the harvest gives. So one seed gives you one cotton, and you can buy it in the Sunlit Plateau, what it sells for, um, energy, Coal, you can get it everywhere. Gold nuggets are in the Sunlit Plateau, Forgotten Lands, Frosted Heights. A whole lot of useful information. Uh, I do like this flower section, which is the next section we'll be going over for foraging. And you can see in here where you find the flower and how much it sells for. So like you can see here, a black passion only sells for 79 star coins. So if you have a, like a stack of 40 of those in your inventory, you might only want to keep 10 of those and sell the rest. Whereas a falling, uh, blue falling penstemon only sells for 23 star coins. And if you don't have any and you're searching for them, you can see where to go find them. Just come in here, hover, hover over it, and it'll give you the information you need to find it. Let's move on to our ingredients tab. In the ingredients tab, it is going to give you the same type of information as it did in foraging. So for example, we're going to look at this onion. If we forgot where our goopy vendor is to go buy it, you're like, oh shoot, where did I buy onions? I need some onions. Instead of having to run around everywhere, just come in your collection tab, hover over it. It's going to tell you you can go buy onions in the Forest of Valor. They take an hour and 15 minutes to grow. It's only going to give you one onion per seed. What they sell for, their energy. Um, it's especially useful if you want to see if you're going to farm like okra versus pumpkins. So like uh, you're looking at the stall for okra. And you're like, wow, this okra seed is expensive, and it says I can only sell for 114 star coins. I'm going to lose money, guys. I'm going to lose money. Uh, but you can come here, and you can see, oh, okra gives three per harvest. So I'm actually going to make some really good money from this. Uh, I can go buy them in the Glade of Trust, and it's going to take two hours. The only information it doesn't include here that I would like was the number of times that it has to be watered. So okra does have to be watered one time after you plant it. Now, for you people that don't like watering a whole lot, if you're farming pumpkins, please be aware. It doesn't tell you here, but you have to water pumpkins at the beginning. And then at the two hour mark, they'll need to be watered again. And then at the four hour mark, they should be ready to harvest, uh, barring any glitches. So definitely useful section. It's also going to give you the same information for fruit. But uh, you have to keep in mind you aren't planting these. These are gathered from trees that are spawned in game. But let's say you're really desperate from bananas. You didn't have any in your storage. You could come here and see that you can get them in the plaza in Dazzle Beach. They grow in 23 minutes and a harvest gives three bananas. What they sell for, their energy. 
So if you really needed to collect a whole lot of bananas real quick, you could go hit those banana trees up every 23 minutes. If you needed to go hit a whole bunch of gooseberries up for making some berry salad, these grow every 40 minutes and are located in the Frost Heights, Forgotten Lands, and Plaza, unless you've moved them. If you move them, they're located wherever you put them. This is not going to update and tell you where you moved them to, but it'll tell you where they originally were. Now, if you go to the grain section, it is going to give you the same information, where to buy it, grows in how many minutes, how many the harvest gives, what it sells for, energy. Uh, the Remy stuff, it's just going to tell you what it sells for in the energy because it's not like you're out there growing eggs in Disney Dreamlight Valley. You're just buying them from Remy. Spices and herbs, it will not tell you how quickly they respawn. Uh, it just tells you where they're from, what they sell for, and the amount of energy they give, which is useful because if I want some vanilla, I know I need to go to Sunlit Plateau. And seafood. It is just going to tell you where to find it, how much it sells for in energy. Uh, it does not include to tell you, hey, you can dig at the beach to find these. So do be aware you can also dig to find them. You don't just have to find the naturally spawned ones on the beach. Uh, definitely take a digging buddy and go dig and get yourself some scallops, oysters, and clams if you need them that way. So let's move on to the next exciting section, meals. This is a huge section. Here's our appetizers. Our entrees, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Here's our desserts. And as you can see, I haven't spent the most time crafting, but what I make was high quality berry salad. You can see here, berry salad takes one raspberry, one blueberry, and one gooseberry to make the base version. That sells for only 139 star coins, but it gives you 2,210 energy, and all it takes is three berries. So very minimal effort food. I like to keep a stack of 50 of this food in my inventory, so I never run out of energy. And if I eat two berry salads, my energy is pretty much always in the gold. And by having my energy in that boosted gold area, I do get a speed increase when I'm running around, which is useful. Now, let's say you wanted to craft something that you haven't made yet. Unfortunately, it's not going to tell you, since you haven't made it yet, what is required. So if I wanted to make these biscuits, and I have no idea what goes in biscuits, I could either try with random ingredients that I think would make biscuits, or I could go to Google and search Disney Dreamlight Valley biscuits recipe, look it up, <laughs> craft it one time, and after I've crafted it, it'll show me the three ingredients when I come here. For example, I've crafted a birthday cake. We can see here that it requires cocoa, wheat, sugarcane, egg, and butter to craft the birthday cake. So once I've crafted it once, I can go here and I can get a quick reminder. And you can see all these other cool foods that are here that you can craft. And if they're grayed out, you haven't crafted it yet. But if they're colored in, you have. So a great way to keep track of all your recipes, if you, especially if you're trying to go through and make one of everything just for collection purposes. Now, as you can see here, it gives you the same information up here in the entrees. And you can see a picture of the item. And once you've crafted it, it'll show you what cooked it, sorry, what you need to make it. Like bouillabaisse, base, we need three seafood, a tomato, and a shrimp. And then carp salad is not going to tell us because we haven't made it yet. We go to a fish sandwich, it says fish and wheat. Now, one thing to keep in mind uh, when you're cooking, uh, you can get like slightly different ingredients. So like uh, sushi. Let's find a sushi I've made in here. Sake sushi, right? Because I made a general recipe for sushi, because general sushi recipe just says uh, we're going to use a fish and we're going to use our rice, right? Well, all of a sudden I got sake sushi. And that's because it specifically uses salmon. So keep in mind there are some variations that won't pop up for you. And like uh, tekamaki, it requires um, more ingredients than just sushi. So you can definitely go through... And use this for looking up stuff once you've crafted it, just to remember the recipes. But when you are crafting, you'll be able to pull up your recipe history anyway. 
But in general, I like this tab for keeping track of what I've crafted, what I've not, and to get ideas for things I could craft or cook, sorry, in the future. I like to think of cooking as crafting, and I'm probably going to say it wrong forever, so my apology, guys. Um, now, we're going to hurry through the next few sections because I have been talking straight for 20 minutes. So let's go on over to the gem section. In the gem section, you can see all of the gems that are currently in game. Amethyst, Forgotten Lands, Frosted Heights, same thing for the shiny, but you can see the price difference. Shiny Amethyst sells for 2k, whereas Amethyst sells for 500. And it's going to give you the same information for each of these, where you can find them, how to get them. Now, you will notice uh, if you did go into that special Mickey area for the one quest and got those two gems that are not listed here. Not listed here yet, because they're not meant to be in game yet. You only get the one of each from that special hidden area. So do keep in mind they will not be listed here. Now, let's go into one of the coolest sections in here, the clothing sets. You can see clothing organized by sets they come from. So for instance, here at the top, we have Mickey and Friends. I have 45 of the 72 items that are available. And you can go through and you can see what these items are. Now, all it is going to show you is the name and what they look like. And it's not going to show you the ones you don't have yet. So this section is a little bit spoiler free for you when you go into your own. You'll only see what you already have. Uh, so we can see here for the Sword and the Stone, I've only got Merlin's Hat. For Wally, -E, there are 29 of 50 items for me collected. So there's quite a few more I can get. Like I got these cool pink boots. But it's not going to show me what I'm missing. Uh, down here we can see the Dreamlight Valley section. That was from one of the Founder editions that I got. Moana, you can see we have 13 of 21 items. And you can scroll through and see that for each of these sections to get an idea of how many more cool items are waiting in your future and to see what you already have. So definitely super cool. Uh, it's a lot easier than going through your wardrobe section and kind of scrolling through what you currently have to put on because you can see these all right next to each other all at the same time. And it's really nice to be able to just get an idea of what you have and maybe get outfit ideas. So let's move on to our last section, which is the furniture sets. And in the furniture sets, you'll see the same thing sorted by movie. So like Mickey and Friends. So I guess character group. Like here's an enchanted broom. We have 32 of 72 of his items. And it's going to let us see the items we have, but it's not going to show items we don't. Here I have 9 of 10 Sword in the Stone items. I believe the 10th item is that huge stack of books outside of Merlin's. You can pick it up, you can place it, but it doesn't count in your inventory. I think that will be changed later. You can see here for Dreamlight Valley items, it says I have zero, zero. But since that section's there, that kind of indicates we're going to get stuff there later, which is pretty cool. In Wally, -E, you can see we have 11 of 35 items. The ones we have are cool, and we got a whole lot more coming our way, apparently. We just can't see what they are in here. And you may have items in yours that I don't have yet. I've been buying stuff at Scrooge every day, but it's pretty random, and you may have got more cool things than me. <laughs> and you can see our Moana section. I have lucked into 16 of 34 of her items. We can see what they are that I have. Same for each of these as we go through. Unfortunately, it's not going to show you what you don't have that's, you know, like grayed out, but it is going to show you what you do have. So it's super useful if you want to decorate. You can come through here, and you can kind of scroll and get an overview of what you have which sometimes will give you inspiration because you can kind of see it all a bit more quickly coming here than just going in your decorating tab. So that's everything in the collections tab. If you have an item and you need any information on it, come here to the collections tab. It's probably going to have the information for you. If not, then you know you probably got to go to Google. But I thought that would at least be useful for now to answer a lot of the questions on the collections tab. Especially since I've got a few requests for, hey, where do I find this information? How did you know your critter was here today? I missed my critter. How can I not miss my critter? Um, what all can I craft with the food? You know, there's so much useful information in that collections tab. And it makes gameplay so much more smooth. And it's a great resource. So... I hope that at least had some new useful information for you. And if it did, or maybe if it didn't, whatever you feel like, like and subscribe. 
turn on notifications. Um, there are a few, a few cool games I'll be playing in the future, and I will try to post useful videos as I can and as people request them of me. And thank you for sticking around because that was slightly over a 25 minute video. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And again, turn on notifications so when I stream, maybe YouTube will actually tell you and uh, you could see a cool stream of a game. And uh, yeah, until next time. Bye for now, guys.